Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and let's go ahead and do a love read for the first half of April 2022, just for you, all right? Uh, this is going to be focusing on you and who, uh, and then that other person uh, could be someone you have yet to meet, uh, or perhaps someone that you're currently dating or have your eye on, all right? Uh, so let's uh, take a look uh, and see what is uh, wanting to come out for you in the cards. Now we've got a new moon that is happening in Aries. Uh, well, I should say, I think it's in Aries. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, it's happening on the first. That's, you know, an excellent time to start initiating movement forward. Okay. On whatever it is that you've got going on. All right. So, so keep that in mind. All right. We've got that full moon happening in Libra that's happening on the, oh, you guys, when is it? Um, uh, 16th, the 16th of the month, 16th. All right. Uh, so that's when the full moon takes place. So you've got some time to put your projects into play, uh, and, uh, seeing how much progress that you've made on them. So, uh, or it could be just moving forward in love. So let's take a look and see the first half of April. What is coming out for you? What is going on for Capricorn? Let's take a look. All right. What is going on? If you are interested in, um, career money or finance or a general monthly read, you're going to see that right at the end of this video. Okay. All right, so the first card that we got out of here is Justice and uh, the Ten of Wands uh, and the Five of Pentacles. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ah, the Page of Wands. Uh, interesting. So this is beautiful. You might be getting a message coming through from a fire sign. Um, just saying. It could be coming through. Uh, this is someone who's got fire in their chart. Um, this could be about some sort of, uh, uh, I don't know, some sort of... Uh, uh, in, in, in discovery. I, I think there's just, someone has made some sort of discovery and they're feeling damn good about it. All right. So, and it could be some, you know, sharing some good news, uh, a discovery that's been made. Maybe you're discovering something, uh, and sharing it with someone, but in either way, it is some sort of discovery that has happened. You're going to hear word of that. Okay. So whether you get a download from spirit source, whatever that is for you or for someone, someone special. Okay. So let's take a look. We got Justice, Ten of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. So take a look at this, guys. So the interesting thing is that the Justice is all about that Libra energy, right? It's about finding some sort of balance. So there's balance after letting go of the burdens of something that kept that made you feel like you were being left out, okay, of a, a certain scenario. This is poverty. This is, uh, you know, hardship. Uh, now, this could be not just financially. Yes, it's the pentacles. But, you know, since we're focusing on love, maybe filled, you know, out of, uh, kind of left out of balance in a relationship or situation, okay? So, uh, you know, fire energy, uh, you know, you've got, uh, you know, the justice card, which is, of course, Libra energy, um, uh, which is, you know, air. And then you've got the, uh, your, your sign here, which is earth energy. So I think there's something that is going to be coming into play for you in terms of our relationship. This is about, you know, for some of you, it is about, you know, balancing things out after letting go some of the burdens, uh, where you kind of let, let, kept yourself out because here's the interesting thing with this card. Fives are about some sort of adversity or conflict. And this is saying there's a key right there. There's a lock right there that can open your door to the light of that of which which maybe that you cannot see. And it's only because you're looking downward, right? You're looking down at the situation and not getting a good idea of like, you know what, uh, you can't see the light, right? You're, it's just the perspective of this. So this is about changing the perspective and what you're doing is letting go of the burdens of that and you're leveling it, things out. So I'm going to pull a card specifically on this one here, uh, just the, the five of pentacles and see what wants to come out for you here. But I love that you're letting something go. Now this has, I got the uh, emperor card. This is about uh, developing some sort of structure or strategy. So this is a strategy surrounding overcoming this. So a lot of you are developing healthy mindsets. And, you know, this is really interesting because um, with this new moon, uh, with this new moon coming through, there is, I think, a conjunction with Chiron. And that is all about, you know, it, it is about the emotional side of things. Like something's, it's going to actually open up, uh, you know, the emotions and things that maybe have been repressed from the past to bring up, uh, believe it or not. But it is, it's, it's about, you know, this could be, um, 
It could be some sort of healings with siblings, healings in a relationship, a romantic relationship or otherwise, but it's coming to the surface and uh, and it is something that is going to be brought up this month, okay? And it might lead to a little bit of anger at first on, you know, in some respects, and it might come out with some of you in, you know, in that way. Uh, some others not, but just, I want you to kind of be aware of it, that if it does happen, you know, again, developing strategies to over overcome this, uh, new ways and new pathways uh, to create new ways of thinking. And sometimes it's just about reprogramming uh, an old default uh, mindset, a way of thinking. Uh, it could be, you know, a, a habit of some sort. You're going to know what that is for you. Okay. And uh, so that's what's coming through here. I will pull a card on the shadow side because I do want to see what wants to come up on this five of pentacles, but you're developing a strategy surrounding this Capricorn. And I love this. So this tells me you're being very proactive to keep things in balance for yourself. And uh, this, you know, might have to deal in terms of relationships and things like that but letting go of the burdens um you know is really key so i'm really happy to see this it's like letting that go it's a 10 so it's it's you know it's being let go and strategies are being put in place uh to level out the playing field okay so good stuff excellent job guys this really puts those of you that are dating in a powerful position right uh so what do we get here huh interesting I didn't, I, it's probably one of the last cards I thought I would find with you, but I get arrogance. Um, so this is about that if you are insecure or if you fear some sort of rejection, okay, it is, it's coming up here, guys, so I'm, I'm mentioning that. Um, it's, it's, it's about really working on letting go of the burden and, and focus on accepting yourself. Okay. Focus on accepting yourself in this process and, uh, and give yourself the self love and put that strategy in place. So, so things that you need to focus on, on self love, that's going to put you in that, that, that powerful position of love. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and, and as you need it, as you need it through this process, whatever you need to do to keep you balanced. Okay. So it, it's some sort of arrogance. Know that when that comes up, Ask yourself, what is it that I'm fearing that this is coming up? Like, you know, am I feeling, uh, when this behavior surfaces, what is it that I'm feeling? Okay. And, and think about what that is and ask yourself why you're feeling that way. So get, get, get deep into that. Even ask why a, a second time or even a third time, keep drilling down till you can't do it anymore. And you're going to know what that means for you. And that's a, a really positive step in terms of that. So, um, it gets you closer to the true essence of you and accepting you and loving you, right? And um, and, and loving yourself as, as you are needing to, okay? And since we're on that, I'm going to pull out of the self-love deck a card that can help you, okay? Okay, so this flew out. You saw that, right, guys? <laughs> you saw that, right? What is this, okay? Take three gulps of water and feel the miracle of your body. Take it in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So take three steps of water and clear out and, and, and have an intention when you drink that water. Um, you know, and not only are you clearing your body and your system out of any sort of uh, uh, toxicities or anything, but it's also about having a good intention. So have that intention in place and maybe make that some sort of morning ritual, guys. That could be something really cool, you know, for Capricorn to do, uh, for you guys to do. Uh, you know, have an intention in that when you take a drink of water, maybe the first thing in the morning, you know, it could be something that you do every single morning uh, and that can really help you and feel that miracle and let how your body take it in on the cellular level. So there you go. So there is, is your thing. Um, I am going to pull a card uh, to see what else might want to come out for you here on this other deck. I do, um, I've been using two tarot decks uh, in the reads here because sometimes they, they pull out a confirmation of things. So, uh, but yeah, this is where you're at right now. What do we get? Yeah. Ace of Cups. Wow. Some of you've uh, got uh, some sort of intimacy or some sort of compassion or love for someone. But as you all know, love starts with you. And because of this is offering yourself a big cup of love and then you attract a big cup of love. So it looks like Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy is coming through here. Uh, you have the fish below there, Pisces, you know, energy. So um, this is an opportunity for, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's for love. It is a, a potential for intimacy and compassion that's coming through. So you've got some, it's kind of like when you give yourself love, love starts coming towards you, right? So note your comments below, guys, but that's what's coming through here, all right? 
anything that the Soul Tree cards would like to say for you here at this point. Uh, for Capricorn, first half of April, 2022. Ah, surrender. Ooh, surrender. And this, this tree, this is really all that green, right? It's all that green and blue. This is about communicating love, right? Communicating love to you so you blossom and love around you blossoms. So uh, yeah, that's the throat chakra and the heart chakra and it's blooming here. So it does talk about surrender and it might have to do with the surrender from an old way of thinking and doing and letting that go, right? Letting go of those burdens so you can balance things out and bring more love in. So, ooh, Capricorn, this is looking good starting off. So I'm going to jump to the other side. Let's go ahead and take a look at this other person on the other side, okay? What is coming up for Capricorn? What do we got? Uh, what do we get? The Tower card. Uh, this other person. Uh, and the Fool card, Major Arcana. And the Two of Cups. Wow. And at the bottom of the deck, uh, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, manifestation and Prosperity. This person is focused on manifesting love. Uh, I will tell you, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm getting, uh, you know, water energy. Uh, that is, uh, you know, the big water cup you have over here. It looks like uh, you might, uh, someone's thinking the same thing. I get someone that had some sort of, um, uh, something happened in their life. There is a tower moment. So this is something came down for them. But what it was, uh, what it did is it struck lightning to transform. So this came down unexpected for this person only so they could transform, right? Transform their way of being because what was going on just wasn't working and it wasn't a foundation that uh, could be built upon uh, for stability uh, and the universe knew that so whether you did or this other person did or not this is what's coming through um, and then I get the full card which brings forth a brand new beginning okay very much a brand new beginning so this is beautiful energy um this is like you know being able to trust the innocence and naivety but it's but it's also protection around that she holds an amethyst there's a crystalline mat if she falls through she's okay universe has got her here uh so you know it's the energy that's coming through here so the fool is about some sort of new beginning okay it's like the great awakener okay is what this is and then the next card I get is the Two of Cups. So this is coming together. So this person is really focused on a new beginning and coming together in love, okay? Now, whether you're partnered with this person or not, or you have your eye on them, what, what's really beautiful is that you both are letting something go, like something had to clear out the energy for something new to come in. And with your Ace of Cups with a brand new beginning, you know, an Ace is like a new beginning and the Fool card is a new beginning, uh, this being of love and then them giving the two of cups, it seems pretty prominent that this could be a really good time for this other person. And uh, yeah, this is what I, I'm getting. So I will take a look at uh, anything else that might want to come out for the tower. Uh, anything else on um, what this might be? What do we get? Uh, something came down because of something was uh, uh, the seven of swords. So this is some sort of... Um, uh, Oh, uh, betrayal, some sort of betrayal or some sort of deception that was unseen and un uncovered because you've got the moon out there, right? But the moon's shining on it. So it's kind of like something's been revealed. So something came down. So this is about some sort of deception. And this person has had maybe experienced some sort of deception in their life or in their love life, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And uh, so now they're actually really focused on moving forward and love, putting that behind them and moving forward. Very similar to leveling up to where you're at as well. So this is what I'm getting. Okay, there's some things this person too has gone through uh, that is uh, interesting. Uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, what might want to come through uh, from the Love Oracle. What do we get? Uh, observation. This is about observing their, uh, their situation and coming up with an accurate assessment of the situation, okay? So, you know, observation is looking at a situation, uh, maybe whatever has happened in the past, and observing what was hidden uh, from there. So uh, this is maybe there wasn't quite an accurate assessment of the situation, and this person through, uh, you know, I think, I don't know if, uh, you know, through some time alone, I think that this person was able to observe um, and is, is this, they're able to come up with a, some sort of new assessment. I want to pull one more card because I'm curious. What do we get here? Uh, affection. An open display of love and special attention to each other's needs are warranted. Yeah. 
Isn't that interesting? So showing affection, this other person needs to show affection a little bit more and have a better observation of what really took place within a connection. Now, what, again, it could be for some of you already know this person, you've, you've become aware of that and maybe you had some sort of connection with each other and it was, it just didn't have a lot of acknowledging each other's needs. It was maybe focused on one person's needs or in, in the others. And it's about coming to a shared union, right? It's, it's about, you know, coming together as well as uh, being entities, you know, uh, you know, having your own self identity, but there is some special attention that needs to be put on this if it's going to work. But the two of cups is really positive guys. So I'm going to pull a card from another deck to see what we want to come out. Let's take a look what we get. Uh, what do we get? Yeah. Nine of swords. Wow. This is putting an end to any sort of deception. Um, like this is anxiety or despair. I really think this person maybe was looking at things from an anxiety point of view and now they're able to observe something differently uh, because for some reason I, I, I feel some sort of um, separateness here, whether you're talking or not, because this person was able to now see things from a different perspective and uh, the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's like, it's like freeing oneself from this type of thinking. Uh, yeah, it's like a victim, 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 right? It's kind of coming through and it could be that, you know, that they have gone through a terrible heartache, you know, and maybe this is a past thing. It's been long term. Uh, I really feel that they have really overcome something big and, uh, yeah, they've been hurt. I think more than like one, two, three times. Okay. I think more than three, but, uh, um, Wow. Yeah, it, it's of come. It's it's almost like it's had to do with anxiety or or despair of some sort. Uh, why? Uh, you know, it could come out of that in terms of their relationships. That could be the key. Okay, so let's say anything else. Uh, jealousy is coming out. Past wounds need more healing. Yeah, work on your self love. You are far greater than you know. So this is working on self-love, very similar to you, Capricorn. You both are working on this. Again, this could be a family member as well as someone that um, you are uh, in in a situ in a you know in a, in a connection with as well or interested in. So self-love is really good for both of you. So really building up your self-love, and I think that's what you both are doing. Back over to you, Capricorn. Any more information on you? Okay. Any more messages? Oh, the six of wands. You're in the spotlight. Okay. You're, you're getting a lot more confidence and oh my God, king of wands. Um, okay. And then what else we have? The Hierophant energy, bottom of the deck, queen of pentacles. Now this could be you here, that mother earth energy kind of feeding, um, energy and getting that from nature herself. Um, you know, she's well in her pentacles and uh, she knows her value. I feel that, um, th I get the six of wands, the knight, uh, the king of wands and the hierophant. Okay. And this is about, you know, really reaching a lot of confidence, stepping out in confidence, victory, a wreath of success, fire energy. So this could be you or someone around you that it might be an entrepreneur, have their own business. Maybe that's what you're creating or wanting to create. Uh, but this is actually receiving some sort of enlightenment. Maybe this, if this is you taking on this energy, there's been success in terms of being a leader at work and um, you are focusing on your spiritual ascension as well. Uh, Hierophant energy is really Taurus energy and it's about determination. So it's determination to move through. So uh, that's nice. It's like dealing with uh, uh, maybe spiritual and moral development. It's like a search for meaning of some sort. Okay. So it's having victory and courage on that search of meaning. Uh, so if you're focusing on self-love and uh, letting go of the burdens and really moving forward on things, uh, I think this is really, really key, kind of balancing the scales. But you're ascending here, right? And if this has to do like with even with the fifth house, this might have to do with uh uh, romance, uh, you know, uh, it, maybe it's something that you love to do for, I don't know for what I'm getting from here. It's something you really enjoy doing. Like you really like getting this alignment. You really love this because it comes even in that the fifth house of entertainment and things like that. So it means it's something you've got passionate about. And you just really love doing and you, uh, and, and it's, it's creativity as well. Okay. 
So, uh, yeah. And with the six of wands, uh, that's really cool too, because this talks about self-improvement, self-confidence, victory, success. You're really, um, you're really, really moving forward. Uh, so this is really, this is interesting. Okay. I'm going to pull a love card because, well, I'm going to pull the divine love card and see what wants to come out, but you're really moving. It's a beautiful energy Capricorn. You're, you're just success. You're ascending and, and, uh, you're succeeding, uh, on whatever, whatever it is that you want. Oh, you're over addictions. Oh, isn't this interesting? Addictive behaviors are impacting this partnership. Gosh, you guys, remember when I brought this up at the beginning? This is a perfect month for you to acknowledge this and it's showing up in the cards. Just like I mentioned here, um, where things from childhood, different things are going to be coming up. I don't just say it because I'm a practitioner in some of this work, but I, I say it because it's truly coming through. It's truly coming through. Um, this is about some sort of the timing involved of any sort of addiction. Now, this, again, you know, arrogance came out on your side, which, again, is just a fear of rejection of some sort, right? Um, and that behavior might surface. So, again, it's just feeding you more, more love for you valuing yourself more and that is really really key but i get uh, addiction um coming through here so it's about ascending and being successful and taking charge of it you know with this uh, king of wands having the courage and move forward and taking charge okay now this could be someone around you even too that might be in the spotlight have their own business in and does this for a living, right? And is overcoming something from a, a childhood addiction. It does not, just doesn't have to be you. It could be someone around you. So note your comments below, guys. I'd really like to know. Um, it could be this other person as well. Let's pull love um, for those of you, you know, in romantic situations here. I'm going to pull an angel card and see what wants to come out. You deserve love. Yes, you do. Look at this. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You deserve love is coming through fantastic oh my gosh and this other person let's just take a look what is coming through here what do we have uh seven of swords and uh, we have the three of pentacles so they're getting over some sort of deception and getting a, a, a support and uh working together with others so in their situation what they're overcoming gemini libra aquarius energy is coming through here uh anything else that wants to come through here flirt uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. They're being uh, asked to extend lighthearted energy to others. Uh, and any final uh, information coming through for this person here? Cooperation. There's going to be an opportunity. Here we go, guys. There is going to be a cooperational opportunity. It, this is an opportunity to come together. And this is saying is that uh, where both parties can set aside their differences and collaborate. You might collaborate with this person, okay? I'm just saying it's about setting aside the differences and being able to collaborate. And there is a possibility for someone that you might be attracted to or vice versa, okay? So there you have it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do an extended on this. And what we're going to find out since you both are leveling up, is this going to be more of a work situation or is it going to be more of a romantic situation? What does this look like or is it a little bit of both? All right. Uh, so we'll find out what they haven't told you, what they want most and what their next steps that they would like to see in this. We'll do the same thing for you on your side. We'll do messages for both sides as well as a potential outcome and oracle advice. So if you want to join me, guys, go ahead and click the link below in the description box for the extended. And if not, I am sending you lots of love on this new moon here coming up and uh, this first half of April. Note your comments below, smash that like button, and guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, namaste.